Welcome Imtiaz Ali, Aditya Vikram Sen Gupta, and Devapriya Roy. Thank you. I'm sorry to hold back the session even further for all those interested. Uh, Sarnath will be signing books at the story bookstore in Mohan Kunja. Thank you. Hi. Is this morning or afternoon? Afternoon. Okay. So here's Dev Priya, and she has her, her life I'm sorted. Apparently, I'm supposed to ask these really difficult and intelligent questions that's going to make these guys open up and tell us everything about why the action hero is lost. Anyway, hello, everyone. It's nice to see you all. And here I am with Imtiaz Ali and Vikram Aditya Sen Gupta. Aditya Vikram. Aditya, Vik Aditya Vikram Sen Gupta. And uh, I did tell you I was panicking. Uh, and uh, and you know I have absolutely no qualification to be doing this session. Hey, I'm a writer. I I watch. I love films, but I'm not an expert. It's like you know there are these master chef uh, master chefs who are going to talk about the nuances of flavor and you know and the chemistry of cooking. And my qualification is that I like eating. There's only one master chef, by the way. Okay, we'll get to that. So uh, I'll still give it a try. Now you do know our uh, topic. It's the lost action hero. Are Bollywood or are, are our Hindi film heroes fighting less and talking more? Why and how? But before we get to that, I was thinking, hang on. OK, now I can see both of you. So before we get to that, I was thinking, if we, if we could talk a little bit about action heroes of yore that have influenced you, that you remember from your past. Because I think one of the things about uh, Hindi films is that our appreciation of films is as important as all the stories that have been handed down orally. For example, my grandmother told me that my father watched Chole 49 times in the hall. And the first time I watched the film, there was that little thing, that little nugget influencing me. So can we back up a little bit and, and talk about that? You know, your favorite action heroes while you were growing up? Were there any? Do you dispute see, the concept? See, I don't need to think about this because my favorite action hero was uh, Mithun Chakraborty. And my favorite film was this film called Param Dharam, where in the end he takes out a huge wheel from the thela and he turns it around and he throws it at the villain. And I remember renting that VHS from the guy who would come to rent VHS in our house. I still remember his name very strangely. Anyway, so uh, tell us, tell us. Bono Mali Shatra. <laughs> Bono Mali Shatra. Yeah. And uh, so I remember renting that VHS for months, so it would stay in my house, and I was I would keep seeing that scene over and over again. So yeah, Mithun Chakravarti. So nothing has anything ever matched up to that. No. Superman matched up to that. Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. No, not no, at no, all. No, no. Not at all. I missed it. I'm going to catch it soon. <laughs> Recently, I saw a film called Gunda. You see the reaction? It's an action film. I, I have a Bulla dub smash on my phone. <laughs> Bulla. Okay. I should start taking notes, I think, you know? I'm, this is going to be very educated. Have, you, have you seen Gunda? Uh, I've, I've never been able to sit through it. <laughs> but yes, I've seen it in bits and pieces. Is it the Sunny Diol? No, it's no. the Mithun Chakravarti. Ah. I just saw it recently, and I'm still reeling under the influence of that. It will change me permanently. Yeah. <laughs> but what about the time you were growing up? Uh, there was the angry young man. Uh, of course, uh, most of these movies that I'm going to talk about, I haven't seen in theater. But I think it was the biggest influence of, our, of my very early growing up years, Amitabh Bachchan. Um, I, many of you are much younger than me and perhaps wouldn't really know who Amitabh Bachchan was um, at a time, you know, where people... I remember there was a time when um, in Jamshedpur talkies, uh, a movie of Amitabh Bachchan's was supposed to come 
and they were contemplating whether they should put the slide of coming soon giraftar in the interval or not why Be because they expected violence just to on seeing this <laughs> clip this one static slide of amitabh bachchan like this so then they there was this whole conversation about between the cinema uh, owner and the manager of uh, that uh, mgm college has come uh, so there are so many boys they might just get excited and break some chairs and i have seen this happening 25 chairs in jamshedpur talkies have been broken down because a slide of amitabh bachchan has come in the interval they broke the chairs they got so excited so amitabh bachchan was the biggest action hero that i remember so you know this is what i was thinking about when i was trying to come up with questions and this genuinely interested me have we become too politically correct for out and out action heroes you know the because there is that emphasis on hyper masculinity and do we not really want to highlight that anymore is that one of the reasons why uh, the we are here sort of writing an epitaph for the action hero i think of course time has changed and a, a lot of things that were uh, accepted um in in the past era um are not acceptable anymore things have evolved and things always do so certain things become um uh, cliched or uh, redundant and i think people i mean it's high time people have also realized that brains are equal important <laughs> so we say this very proudly in calcutta <laughs> but it it's also very interesting that if we look at the last 30 years and we look at don't worry okay hmm. so if we if we look at the last 30 years and we see the transition of the hindi film hero we have the angry young man and then somehow i think from the mid 90s as globalization really kicked in and the growth story was more important the angst of the angry young man was replaced by a a more you know upwardly mobile protagonist so it it's it's interesting if uh, that is that is one of the reasons for the decline in the traditional action hero because it it's it seems interesting to me that hollywood on the other hand has gone far towards the superhero franchise movie where it's all action and there these huge mega budget films so my, the uh, the the logic in my head is that that post recession once uh, your turbo capitalism has taken that hit the the dystopian the dark uh, america that they show in all these superhero films at the brink of disaster and then needing superhero intervention to fix it perhaps leads me to think that maybe you know it's also a a cycle and we are at that stage now where we want to highlight other things but we'll probably come to it once uh, you know well i'd like to say that of course uh, yeah politics uh, and and the time and the society and what's happening over there definitely has influenced hindi films um from the time that i can kind of put things together uh, i feel that even the angry young man was a product of its times because um, i think india was going through a certain internal disappointment right post uh, post the heyday of nationalism yeah post Just... the heyday of nationalism it was going through certain um, some misconceptions about the freedom struggle etc were were changing and hypocrisy was coming into the society right. because we didn't know whether to believe in the great lofty stories that we've been told about our partition uh, etc yeah. etc and um, our independence struggle etc so there was an internal anger they felt that the promise um, has not been lived up to right and we are not so that anger i think manifested itself in the angry young man and people yeah. really lapped it up and there That's was just one example yeah there was also the emergency there was the nakshal movement in right. in in eastern india so there was a lot of sort of uh, reason behind that rage and and it was difficult for them to vent it out also because there was no temple run and fruit ninja so 
there was a lot of pent up. Yeah. yeah. So that was go that was actually going to be my uh, you know one of my questions that social media is it also something that takes away from the action hero? I mean, you know. No, I think because uh, on Facebook I see all kinds of really ridiculous, funny things where people uh, just express themselves in certain ways which uh, maybe they shouldn't be doing publicly mm. or on like a social media sort of a thing. And I still remember seeing something where a producer has blacklisted an actor with a red cross on her face and she's quite well known in Calcutta. And he's given, the, and he's given his reasons why he's blacklisted her. And, and it's all, all over. Facebook. It's all over. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So maybe if he did not have Facebook, there would be something else that he would have done. And maybe if that wasn't there, maybe something else that he would have done. Mm -hmm. So, you so know, there are lots of channels. Rage outlets every uh, second, yeah, like yeah, yeah, every yeah, yeah. WhatsApp post. You know, you're annoyed with your boss. You just so we don't let rage build up to an epic proportion, so that there's so that a, a movie you know, can be made on it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and. And then the other thing, for example, you know, films uh, in 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 the the angry young man films. Even after that, even some of the Sunny Day old films, the quest for the protagonist was to get a job. I think now we are at that stage when, as in Tamasha, you know, you chuck that job and you go and get a get a life. So in 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 many ways, this shift too, of uh, of of discovering yourself, a luxury of sorts, which is now, it seems, available to a very large number of young people. But this is something that I don't understand, so I want to ask you. Is the influence of the multiplex uh, audience a big factor in, because they probably don't like action films as much? I, I won't be able to answer that question, really, because uh, I'm, I'm really not an expert on how audiences think and what they want. But I think uh, there are a few makers who've assumed that the audience does not really understand uh, content. And they create the kind of cinema which uh, you, so there is commercial Bollywood cinema, which is a genre by itself, like Shole or Diwar. And it had all the commercial elements but at the root of it, it had a very, very strong story. Yes. Which, uh, according to me, this is my opinion, which, according to me, is, say, about 60-70% of the battle already won. But then there are a bunch of makers who think that Salim Javed had been wasting the time doing that because you don't need that story. You only need the item song, you need the action, and you'll have a masala-packed film for the audience, and they'll eat it. But I don't really think that's the case, mm. because I don't think they want to be considered uh, passive uh, receivers of you yeah. know, this formula. What about you, Imtiaz? What do you think? I agree with what he's saying, for sure. And uh, as far as the multiplex m uh, mushrooming situation is concerned, it's a chicken and egg. It's one thing calls for the other. Um, but the multiplex also allows you to watch the film with greater concentration, with better sound, uh, in a more controlled atmosphere. So you can enjoy the cinematic experience in a different way. Um, watching a film in a big on big screen in old-fashioned theaters is like a picnic. You know, it's the jing bang is there. People are laughing, commenting, whistling. People are talking across the theater to each other. It's a it's a party going on. Mm -hmm. They're um, singing aloud. They're singing they're aloud. They're talking at the screen. And also, they are dressed up like the matinee idol. <laughs> they wear uh, the hairstyle changed uh, in Jamshedpur when Mithun's films were running. You know, people started, yeah. got rid of their sideburns and made the hair in a different way. So uh, many of the people, um, so people coming to watch your film would think they are Mithun Chakravarti or Amitabh and all that. So that's entertainment as well. There's nothing. There's no harm. But as he is saying, it's very important. It doesn't matter what the time is. Times will change. It's not um, not going to change. But the story, uh, as we were discussing last evening, I feel that there has to be some reason to take you from a scene to another scene. And that is what 
solves it for me as as audience at least so the internal logic of the narrative in in every which film it yeah just like i think uh, like how um, no, sevag had said once the the cricketer that when i go to play it could be a 5 day 20 over 30 over 25 balls whatever but when i go to play the first ball i i i'm just thinking that i'm going to hit it out of the park so your job as a our jobs as a storyteller will always remain important no matter what the format is was that was not even the question you asked yeah, right yeah i mean you know you're you're in a in the better position to tell us but about the economics behind it is there pressure on the filmmaker that you know uh, or or do you actually even look at figures that okay so this is what the urban multiplex is multiplexes are earning this is what is are the collections elsewhere no i get a little confused when i get into figures too much but there is an overall story it is it is um very impractical and quite stupid to assume that if somebody is putting money making a movie they don't want the money back obviously they have wanted back and uh, you as a as as a filmmaker are are here to make your movie and ensure that the money comes back at least that you have to uh, keep in mind then there are going to be numbers some people are given to understanding them i can't understand them beyond a point of time but i do understand that uh, i i try to interact with people as much as i can I'd, and i'd like to um for them to um engage and and be affected by the movies that i make or get entertained by the movies that i make that is one almost an illogical calculation that i have in my mind so basically both of you do agree with with what is sort of the motion of the day that uh, the action hero is 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 on on the win or would you see i really think that uh, i mean when a person is getting angry there needs to be a motivation right and that motivation is something that is born out of uh, a story or a narrative progression so if that is absent uh, you know nothing really makes sense i mean why this song why is he getting angry mm -hmm. why is he doing this uh so so i feel that the 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 root of it is uh in the writing and in in creating newer stories or creating stories that would be developed into you know films and give characters the certain you know the kind of motivation and things like that and uh yeah so i so there uh you know we don't get to see action heroes too often right now but uh, of course airlift is releasing today and it might just be a big hit and then you know we'll have to visit all our i think the answer of this question is very simple and this whole um, conversation can be j just uh, summed <laughs> up in a line and that is that yes there is a fall of the action hero in hindi hindi films for sure there is and uh, but we are trying to give to the audience bit by bit so that we can live up to our reputation <laughs> of finishing the duration yeah. but there are many reasons behind it yeah. and uh, one of the things is also that there um, in the hindi film industry many directors want to make movies that they believe in or that they can um, emotionally connect, connect with, with. Yeah. right rage is a difficult thing to connect with for a year and a half which is the time that it takes to make a movie you know you feel enraged but ho for how long yeah. there has to be a deep sustaining reason for which which supplies you with that rage and these reasons reasons are usually not personal these reasons are necessarily are bigger, bigger they are social than you. they are there's something which is a miss and it it angers me each time yeah. i uh, you know go through that path so uh, those actually the outlook also of the country has changed a lot what is happening is that there are personal uh, so called selfish solutions to problems um, things have become um, have uh, uh, become uh, it's not the same world for everybody who's sitting in a room i might be connected to filmmakers in uh, argentina and he might be connected to soccer players in argentina so um, you can you can choose to be what you want to be with greater ability now 
<clears throat> so there are as a and the other thing is that because there because of the huge amount of communication that has happened um, uh, unexpectedly in in the country and in the world at large, we are aware of different kinds of uh, films. You know, uh, we have gone yes. through a, a boom of communication. We That's so right. much has been communicated to us. Our minds has ch changed and evolved, and for the better. As far as I'm concerned, I feel it's always it's for the better. So <clears throat> we don't have patience with stuff that we can't relate to anymore. We don't sit and wait for a boring scene to go away so that we can now start enjoying a good scene. We need to relate, and. Uh, 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 you know, so we see a lot of movies that we have enjoyed in the 60s or the 70s, but when we see them now, we feel that this is not me, man. This is so silly, but I'm enjoying it because I've, I've seen it and I've heard and my father has seen it 39 times. But we don't, we want to watch movies that we can connect with, that we can connect with, and, and things have become relatable. Heroes have become like us. We talk more than, uh, than fight, right? When's the last time that you had hit somebody? Mm -hmm. Uh, no, and I also think it's uh, very interesting because uh, I think the rage or the emotion that the filmmaker is trying to uh, translate through the film has different embodiments. And I think that embodiment has also changed. For example, earlier it could be a person that embodied that rage mm -hmm. and would go and hit and mm -hmm. fight and mm -hmm. you know shed blood. Whereas now the embodiment can be in terms of content, in terms of uh, metaphors, like a film like Court, for example. I don't know how many of you have seen it. But I think there's a lot of rage, there's a lot of comment in that film. Mm. But had it been a film made in, say, 70s by a commercial filmmaker, you know, probably the sewage worker's younger son would go and take badla. You know. There would be the revenge. So that, yeah, so that rage and that comment would be the same. And it would be connected to the family also. Correct. So the comment would be the same. The expression would be the same. It's just that the, the, the kind of symbols, the kind the of words and grammar that you use to communicate it would be it has different. Yeah. And I think it's also great that we've taken out the external element because a lot of a, a, all the action films really, the rage is directed outward. Or even uh, in, say, a love story, there was a lot of anger directed outward. So there were disapproving parents, or the world at large was cruel, and so on. Now I think much of it has been internalized. So the demons to be conquered are within, not so much external things. So the focus is on the plot then. You take out all the extra. And what you're left with is a much leaner. That's why I think there's more talking. Um, as far as internal is concerned, I feel that a resistance um, in the plot or uh, in the conflict is really internal. It's most of the time internal. And uh, I remember, I'm going to take a small detour, when I was making my first film, which was Socha Natha, um, uh, some people did not want to produce it when I was pitching for it, saying that this is, uh, um, there's no villain in this. There is no bad.